Ladies and gentlemen, there's no easy way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. Alex Van Halen does not kick off the song Hot For Teacher. He does. What it is, people, it's a jam between the brothers. As soon as I do this, you know what the dealio. And with this said, welcome to the first informative edition here at the Percussive International. I'm your host, Oliver Sebastian Oser. <laughs> Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, recht herzlich willkommen zur ersten informativen Ausgabe hier auf meinem Kanal des Perkussiv International. Subskribieren Sie hier, indem Sie diese Schaltfläche dieses Zeichens betätigen. Dankeschön. Bonjour, comment allez-vous, mon puce, servus, salut, grüzi, ni hao, and of course, ohayo gozaimas and namaste. Buonasera, mi chiamo Oliverio Sebastiano Oserio. Benvenuti alla prima edizione di Tattica dell'Internazionale Percussiva. O ciò diamo un'occhiata più da vicino a una famosa canzone dell'album 1984. Now speaking of greetings and all the talk about the aliens lately, when you do meet them, make sure you have your drumstick handy and reciprocate appropriately. As set forth by the Intergalactic Drummers Association, two taps right. of heart followed by a swirl will complete the greeting. Wrong. Right? Wrong. Right? <laughs> Wrong. Right? Well, we all know what happens if you don't. Upon meeting with any intergalactic life form, you are advised not to extend your hand. Huh? And if you do get invited on board, I, for my part, would rather jump. Let me take you back to 1984. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? I was there, Gandalf. I was there 39 years ago. Now, I heard it first back in 84 at the Monsters of Rock as a young pimply lad sitting in the bleachers to the right. It was Motley's first round of concerts in Europe, followed by Accept holding the crowd with an iron fist. While Gary Moore brought the blues, Ozzy entertained the sweaty crowd and Dio's voice rang supreme. It was in the late afternoon, the sun had cast long shadows when I found myself on the way to the loo and remember seeing in the corner of my left eye the stage being set up for Van Halen. When this thing came on... Now I had to sit down, much like Elaine tasting the soup Nazi's turkey chili oh, for the first see. time. Now go and watch all the live videos online. You notice no intro for Hot For Teacher. Alex goes straight into the beat. Everybody knows. Uh. Stopping short for a specific reason, of course. Deception. I stopped short. Throughout their life escapades, they've chosen not to play it as it is on the record because it is very much a two-person job to handle the beat. A boss! <laughs> <laughs> this ship cannot be crewed by two men. You'll never make it out of the bay. I'm not talking about the brakes, eh? <laughs> If you find yourself scrolling through YouTube for nearly 40 years, nobody has figured out the intro to Hot for Teacher. 
None of the pros, not the nine-month-old wunderkind from South Korea, assorted superheroes, nor the 90-year-old grandmother from Connecticut. Which begs the question? What you need, people, is two pads, two toms, a snare, a bass drum, a double pedal, a hi-hat, a 22-inch ride cymbal, a 20-inch Chinese cymbal, and a 16-inch crash cymbal. That is it. Only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no floor tom. It was here in 1784 that Alan Edwards' great-great-great-great-grandfather, Gerrit van Galen, known as Gary to his friends, sat on his bass drum cembalo when he stumbled upon this curious pattern. Now, if you want to pull this off yourself, you need a keyboard with a 16-track sequencer and an audio interface. Furthermore, set the keyboard to start, stop by pedal. Please refer to your manual. Reefers. And voila, there you go. You're all set. Have you got it? Then all you gotta do is learn the pattern. And once you're in it for a few measures, remember to just follow the kick drum in the regular shovel groove. Drummers, deep down in your hearts, you know that there was always something odd about the intro to Hot For Teacher, like a splinter in your mind. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it every time you hear it, every time you play it. Now let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you've always known the answer to the question. The question. The question, who is responsible for the intro? You felt it your entire life, like a vision in a dream, 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 dream. Me. It was all me. It's always been me the author of all your pain.
dot, a dotted eighth and sixteenth means you have an eighth note with a dot after it and then a sixteenth note. So the eighth note counts as two sixteenths, so that's one dot. A dotted eighth and sixteenth means you have an eighth note and the E are in the eighth note. The and is in the dot and the uh is the last sixteenth. Get the fuck out of here! Hey, some say it's a Harley engine idling. Others say it's, it's Lamborghini, it's a school bus. Well, my favorite is the Professor of Rock. Well, it's neither nor. It's a manipulated stock sample from the Simmons module. And what gives it the idling characteristic is the manner with which it is played. Fact. In the song's intro was achieved by stringing together four bass drums. <laughs> You were all going to sing at a charity bazaar. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> what we do in life? Echoes in eternity. Hey, these guys go to great lengths just to tell you anything except the truth. Now that feel was very interesting because you don't hear that often. All the fills with the toms and the bass drum always happen in the opposite order. He was playing them from the low end drums like the floor tom to the high end drums like the regular toms, okay? You always listen to but never that's a special. That's something he was doing and no one else had done that before. Huh. Oh my dear. Now I would like to call into evidence the following. Dr. Travis, earlier you spoke about studies that you've conducted in the past. In forming your opinion for today's testimony, did you rely on any of those studies? Yes, ma'am, I did. Uh, most importantly, this one recent study that we conducted uh, involved isolated situations in which distracted driving most likely would have occurred. Did you create a visual aid that shows the results of that study? Yes, ma'am, I did. As Exhibit C for identification purposes, would your honor like a copy? I would. <laughs> Was that the ending? Uh, I'm a little confused. Well, we wouldn't want that, would we? No one else had done that before. Smooth, lascivious, salacious, outrageous. Oh. I've been playing it like you guys for the longest time. For the longest time. Hey, the only guy that can substantiate my claim is the venerable Reverend L himself. Alex, as you will bevestigen, kun je dat via email doen. Curious cover for 300, Alex, please. These three words follow how the... This is me playing them drums. That must have been some 30 odd years ago. Other elements you might find interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, pretty baby, can we go strolling? You 
got me rockin' when I ought to be rollin' Now have you heard rumors spreadin' around In that Texas town By that shack outside the Grange And you know what I'm talkin' about Just let me know if you wanna go To that home out on the range Got a lot of nice girls up uh, 